this current market malaise is playing in my favor. I suppose if we use Toyota as an example, you can see where reload zones are. This is probably going to just do nothing more than like a Wyckoff check against those highs. This probably would happen on some sort of Lehman Brothers moment kind of thing. I've often said this. I said it to somebody in social media the other day about Bitcoin, and I would argue it's the exact same thing in the stock market, is that quote unquote crashes will do nothing more than bring prices back into buying windows. So you might argue that, you know, if you just draw a really simple weekly trend line, if we go off of that low and that low, you know, that's key support right there. Not up here, down here. Tell you, the stock market is not a happy place to be these days. Dow down 383 points there on the futures market. And I think the cash market is, yeah, 387. So, I mean, there's just nothing to get excited about here other than the fact that TRI's algo seems to uh, be working and uh, we got a great signal there. In fact, I even saw somebody on Twitter even uh, did a shout out and said, wow, TRI, you really nailed this uh, bread thing. They're kicking butt. So that's really, really good to see. I'm super excited to, uh, to be able to have this breadth indicator up and running and doing its thing. Uh, I would imagine if anything, what I had previously suggested was there was a bunch of names that I did want to buy, but unfortunately the damn market, uh, you know, like Toyota Motor Company and stuff like that, the damn market just took off, right? And it just ran away from me. And I'm of course not allowed to chase. So in a weird sort of way, actually this current market malaise is playing in my favor. I suppose if we use Toyota as an example, there's my order right there. <laughs> I don't know whether we're going to get it to come back to there or not. You can see where reload zones are. This is probably going to just do nothing more than like a Wyckoff check against those highs. This probably would happen on some sort of Lehman Brothers moment kind of thing coming out of China, where they ultimately ultimately capitulate and puke out. And I've often said this, I said it to somebody in social media the other day about Bitcoin, and I would argue it's the exact same thing in the stock market, is that quote unquote crashes will do nothing more then uh, bring prices back into buying windows. So you might argue that, you know, if you just draw a really simple, like this would be a weekly trend line if we go off of that low and that low. Well, I hate to say it, but you know, that's key support right there. Not up here, down here. So don't be shocked if we uh, wake up one day in the not too distant future. And even from these levels, uh, we see a, this would be a 20% haircut. And, you know, that would be called a crash in the, the media. And, you know, so I will sort of try to keep my uh, eyes peeled on Toyota. I don't know whether I'll be able to get down in, uh, down below. That'd be great if it could happen. Still sitting on a ton of dry powder, so I'm not really spending a lot of money, uh, and I can't invest at these high prices. Another one that I did want to try and invest in was Intel. Of course, you can see the bottom here. And basically the same thing as Toyota, uh, you know, your long-term trend line, there it is. It's actually flat line. It's not even really much of an uptrend. Do we actually come back down to these levels? Maybe. I would imagine in the short term, probably going to find some support against... Uh, that trend line there. Interesting how that's the 200 period moving average there. So, and also if I'm not mistaken, I think there's a big gap on the charts here. Yeah, right there. You know, same thing as Toyota. Probably in some sort of great panic, you'll get like a Wyckoff check of the breakout down in this area. Uh, do I step in and buy it then? I don't know. Uh, I'll approach that when we get to that point. A couple of recent picks that I uh, made to try and sneak my way in at the bottom end of ranges. Ironically enough, somebody asked me about all these alternative fuel stocks about six, eight months ago. And I had said, you know, I don't know. I don't think they're going to bottom until, uh, you know, years down the road. I think somebody specifically asked me about plug, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know whether I still have the levels on here. Yeah, here it is. So ironically enough, if I just eat my own cooking, I suppose uh, I'd keep myself out of a lot of trouble. Do I eat my own cooking? I don't know. If we do the sort of four-year cycle kind of idea, and I just said, well, from, you know, you know, stupid face rip, public FOMO buys to the ultimate low was this red box. If we replicate that, then that takes us to basically December of this year. And notice they just moved this darn thing to another new low. So I thought, okay, this is probably the bottom. This is it, but no. So, I mean, how much further does this have to go? 
Oh, God, this could be horrible. I'm not in this one. You know, once we actually do hit some sort of capitulation bottom, then there should be quite a long period of consolidation that sets the base for the next big bull run. So if this just happens to replicate, then that means that basically the next year or so, we're probably going to be in that basing. And then what is this? This is 2000. Interesting, October 2026, right? Because we're all thinking that the market should be happy uh, through 2025. Bitcoin, crypto should do pretty well. Then in the fall of 2005, the winter of 2026, uh, 25, 26, that's when actually uh, you should start seeing things like natural gas and stuff start to outperform and that's probably what's going to cause this thing to start outperforming uh because keep in mind it's these things all move on natural gas prices so was it one that i bought recently an, an idea of david's it looks to me like it's done fairly well here recently so that's encouraging probably pullbacks into buying uh windows would uh, represent if you wanted to join me on this so there's one at least positive note in this market I did buy a little bit of cost military hardware stock it hasn't done a hell of a lot here it hasn't broken down so that's good just sort of treading water so if you are uh, interested ammo what a name for a company eh? if you are interested in a name there's probably value in this name so i did go and pick up a little bit of that as well give a big shout out to francis in our stock pickers club he actually found a short spread trade idea that fired on this ewj uh, which is basically a proxy on the japanese stock market good looking double top right down now i suppose we also had a double top there so you can do fog and bombs off of this high as well so boobity boo so uh i think francis is going to do pretty well on that put spread trade nice nice trade francis if you are watching this <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.